I'm a psychotherapist. Give me 60 seconds and I'll teach you what you need to know about your nervous system in order to save you some time and hopefully a ton of frustration. Number one, your nervous system isn't designed to make you happy. It's designed to keep you alive. That's why it's constantly scanning for threats, even when you're safe. Number two, when you're triggered, your prefrontal cortex, which is your thinking brain, goes offline and the survival circuits in your brainstem take over. That's why logic doesn't calm your panic and pep talks do absolutely nothing. You need to work with the part of your brain that is active, which is your reptile brain. Number three, calm is not the goal. A healthy nervous system is not one that is always relaxed, but one that is flexible. It can gear up when needed and come back down when the threat has passed. Number four, your nervous system does not speak a verbal language. It speaks the language of somatics, which is in the body. So if we wanna to learn to communicate with it, we need to learn how to come down into our body. Number five, regulation doesn't always look like peaceful meditation and deep breathing. Sometimes it's shaking, crying, or trembling. That's your body completing disrupted stress cycles, which naturally ends in regulation. Number six, trauma is not the event. It's how your nervous system stores the experience. That's why two people can go through the same thing and walk away with different scars. Six truths, 60 seconds, the rest is practice. Your nervous system isn't here to make you happy. It's here to keep you alive. When panic hits, your thinking brain steps aside and your survival brain takes over. Calm isn't the goal, flexibility is. Your body speaks in sensations, not words and regulation can be messy, shaking, crying, trembling. Trauma isn't the event, it's how your body holds it. Six truths, one nervous system, the rest is practice.